I know that I want to make a game where you're inside of a procedurally generated city with AI inhabitants doing their own thing, but other than that, I got nothing. That is why I went to ChatGPT to find a more detailed idea. For those of you who are living under a rock and don't know what ChatGPT is, it is basically a really smart AI model that can do some really cool things like answer any questions you might have, write your school essays for you, and even write some code for you. So with all of that in mind, I went ahead and asked ChatGPT for some game ideas. And surprisingly, after only a few questions, I actually found an idea that I was really in love with. The idea that I'm going with is gonna be kind of similar to Grand Theft Auto where you're part of a gang and you start with zero reputation. And then you need to build it up by doing illegal things like robbing banks, mugging people, and taking out rival gang members. There definitely be more things that you can do to increase reputation than this, but it's a start. I want the game to have a speedrun aspect to it where you can see how fast you take over as leader of your gang, but also be able to do other various things in a sandbox open world type of playthrough. This is obviously a very broad idea, but that's fine as I'll definitely be thinking of really cool ideas as I develop the game, and hopefully you guys can offer up some interesting ideas as well. Also, before I get into anything else, I should probably introduce myself. I go by the name Okta Online, and I've been making small video games on and off for around the last two years. I'll put my itch.io in the description for anyone interested in some of the small projects that I've worked on. I'm also currently in college for computer science, so programming is definitely my favorite part of game dev, and I'm just really looking forward to working on this game and documenting it here for hopefully the next year plus. With that being said, I've been hard at work for the past couple of weeks, so let's get into it. So the first major goal I have for this game is to create a randomly generated city with people walking around and driving around, making it feel as lively and realistic as possible. The first step to doing this is creating the algorithm to generate the city. First, I worked on making a road layout that is kind of random. It isn't the most random layout in the world, as I want the road layout to be as realistic as possible without there being weird crossroads everywhere, but I will definitely improve on this in the future. Next, I wanted to import this code into Unity so that I could see what it would look like more clearly. I also wanted to add blank green plots everywhere where there could be different types of buildings, parks, etc. As you can see with the crossroads, they're all four ways, so for any of the um, cases where there would be a two-way or three-way crossroad, they do not look correct, but that's something that I'll definitely fix in the future. Thinking about other high-level features of the city, I do I wanted there to be different districts. To start, I added four randomly generated districts, one main city district, a suburb district, and two gang districts. The city district will have things like buildings that you would see downtown in big cities, the suburb district will have a lot of greenery with a lot of family homes, and the two gang areas will be run down areas with a lot of warehouses and worn down buildings. One of the gang areas will be where your gang resides, and the other will be a rival gang. The images that I'm showing are some examples of the assets I'll be using for this hefty job from Cinti Studio on the Unity Asset Store. They have a low poly look and there are plenty of prefabs that will allow me to have a city that will look adequate enough without any 3D modeling on my end. Fortunately, it wasn't very expensive as I've accumulated most of the assets from bundles in the past. Taking a look back at the districts, here are a few examples of the randomly generated layouts. Now that this was finished, I started working on making some prefabs for different plots. I made five unique building plots for the city and five unique house plots for the suburbs as well. Although I only made five prefabs for each district, I can add another level of variation by giving different colors to the buildings. This was very easy to do as Cinti Studio gives you many different materials to work with. Before I populate the world with these prefabs, I want a character to walk around in and a vehicle to be able to drive the streets in so that I can get a sense of what it will look like when I'm actually playing the game. Fortunately, I have a lot of assets and I found one that contains an FPS third person character controller and a car and motorcycle controller. Now that I have the character and car controllers, I replace the empty plots with different colored variations of the 10 plots I already made. Already the world is starting to come together and I want to add many more prefabs into the game in the future. Oh yeah, another thing to mention is that right when I got to this point, it was super laggy. It would be at around 20 to 10 FPS when looking at a lot of buildings. And to fix this, I did a few things. First, I made three different LODs or levels of detail for each prefab in the scene. At first, without the LODs, I had upwards of 40 million vertices being rendered at one time, which is a lot. And now that number is down to no more than 10 million, which alone is an amazing performance boost. I also added fog to the scene to add some depth and hide the low detail buildings in the background. The other crucial thing I did to help with lag is make any prefab that I knew wouldn't be moving in runtime static. After doing these things, the lowest FPS I get while playing in the editor is 80, which is a big improvement for now. The final thing that I have finished at the time of uploading this video is a bank prefab that randomly spawns in on the map. 
This was different from spawning in other plots as instead of taking up a one by one space, it takes up a two by three space. So I had to create logic in the procedural generation script that will be able to spawn different types um, and sizes of prefabs. The bank prefab came with the Cinti Studio heist pack and I can't wait to use it for a custom bank heist later down the road. So that's everything that I've done so far with this project. The next few things that I plan on doing for the next devlog include adding a better and more realistic vehicle controller because the current one's a little janky, and then adding AI vehicles and pedestrians roaming around the city following traffic laws and making it feel like you're in a real city with inhabitants. If anyone has any ideas or suggestions at all, feel free to leave a comment below. It can be on something I've already done or things to add in the future. I have a lot planned for this game and I am beyond excited to share my journey with you guys. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to know when I upload the next devlog, and hopefully I'll see you there.